All right, this is another episode of Guide to Georgia Outdoors, and this one is going to be jackfish from river to table. In a previous episode, I caught some jackfish. Now, some people call them chain pickerel. We call them jacks down here in the south. Normally, I just consider these a trash fish. They cut your line, I throw them back. But someone told me, they said, the reason why you don't like them is because you're not been preparing them right. What we're gonna do in this episode is take one of these jack and get them ready for the table. I'm gonna start off with scaling them. I've got the jackfish scaled. Now we're gonna fillet them and we're gonna fillet the meat right off of the fish. All right, now we're gonna go through and remove the rib cage, all the rib bones. This is where I would normally stop with a bass and just ready to fry, but a jackfish has a lot of bones running through the meat. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna score. We're gonna make incisions through the meat, not through the skin, about one inch apart all the way down. And what that's gonna do is allow those bones to cook out when we fry it. Just this little pattern, just scoring it. We'll do a little crisscross. So it looks like that. And what you'll be able to do is get batter or flour or cornmeal, whatever you're cooking with, get it down in those little cracks, fry it up, and hopefully those bones will cook to the point where they're uh, not a problem. All right, we got these jack fillets ready. They look pretty neat. I'm curious to how they're gonna turn out. I've never tried them, but it's my favorite part of the show where I pass it off to Drew, and it's time to stink up some grease. Even though this is a jackfish and it's a little different than how you would clean most fish, when you prepare it, it's going to be pretty much the same way. I'm going to give them a quick rinse and then we're going to whip up a flour based batter. The only difference with the jackfish is you really want to make sure that you get the flour and your uh, batter down in all the cuts and crevices of this fish. We've got them rinsed off. First thing we're going to do, let's go with a little regular table salt. Then we'll go with some pure ground black pepper. And we'll go with Old Faithful here. You can't go wrong with the Creole seasoning. Once you get a nice even coat of all your seasonings, you're ready for the flour. And I know on the last video, we did a cornmeal base. And I do typically prefer cornmeal. But today, we're going to mix it up a little bit. We're going to go with flour. And let's really roll it around in there. And as I mentioned earlier, you want to make sure that that flour gets down all in the crevices here so when you're frying it it'll really cook those bones out just like any other fish 350 degrees is going to be that magic temperature to fry them the only difference with these is we're going to cook them for about a minute longer so rather than five to six minutes we're going to shoot for about six to seven maybe eight all right so temp just hit 350 let's think up this grease perfectly coated ease it down in there About halfway through, about four minutes, I flipped them over to make sure we got a nice even brown coat on both sides of the fish. So uh, let's pull them out and see how they taste. If they taste half as good as they look, we're in for a treat. Uh, so now I think it's time for uh, the official Guide to Georgia Outdoors taste test. Get a little cut right there. Mmm. It's hot. <laughs> that dog right there will hunt. Uh, the jackfish is a very bony fish, but doing it this way, I haven't tasted a single bone. So this has been the jackfish from River to Table, also known as the chain pickerel. Uh, I hope you enjoy this video. I know you're going to enjoy this recipe. Go ahead and try it at home. Uh, hit us with the like, subscribe, but until the next episode, this has been the unofficial and no doubt incomplete guide to Georgia Outdoors.